In this video, we're going to be looking at a recursive power algorithm. So, suppose you had a number x that you wanted to raise to a certain power n. How would you do it? Um, the most obvious approach, of course, is to multiply x n times. And this is described here in this algorithm. Um, the bulk of the work is actually being done right here, where you can see that the result of the previous multiplication is being multiplied by x. So this basically amounts to multiplying our x n times and getting the power. We're going to return the result right here. Um, another approach would be to uh, use recursion. And if you look at, for example, x to the 18, you would observe that x to the 18 is actually x to the 9 times x to the 9. So instead of actually multiplying x 18 times, what you can do is compute this and then simply multiply it by that same answer that you get. So you're actually reducing it by a, a, a factor of, of half. So right now here you had 18 steps, 18 multiplications. In this case you're going to have 9 multiplications and multiply it by that result that you get. So um, if you kept on doing this, so this is the multiplication the second step. If you kept on doing this in a recursive manner, and of course for odd terms we would uh, have to multiply by x at the end so multiply by x to the 4, x to the 4 in this case and times x so for an odd term you would always have an x at the end and um, you would have here 9 over 2 so n over 2 n over 2 and this is integer division so we don't care about the remainder and then we multiply by x to make up for the fact that it's an odd term and do the same thing for that 4 over here and that 2 and also that one here, which would be x to the 0 times x to the 0. Since it's odd, you have to multiply by x. Um, and effectively, you've reduced it from a time complexity that is proportional to n to one that is proportional to log uh, n base 2. Um, you could understand how exactly we got to that result by looking at the video uh, about the recursive decimal to binary algorithm. It's basically because we see that uh, the, the number of operations will be d dependent on the number of divisions by 2 that we can make before we reach 0. So we get this result. So watch the video decimal to binary, the recursive algorithm there, and you will get the, the exact proof. Uh, and here's the actual algorithm. You see it from top to bottom. So what it's doing, this is the base case. This is the recursive algorithm. The base case is if n is equal to 0, so if the exponent, so if it's x to the 0, we're just going to return 1. And this is the recursive step right here. We are calling the function once more, but this time with the exponent being halved. So, uh, as we saw above, when it was 18, we just called it once more with a 9, so 18 over 2. Keep on doing this multiple times, and um, every time you're going to return, if, it's, if x was even, then uh, you're going to return, sorry, it's not x that's even, I'm actually looking at n. So if n was even, then you're going to return temp times temp, which is the result of this recursive power um, multiplication. And if it wasn't even, basically you're going to return the same thing, but multiplied by x like we saw above. So we've reduced it from a type complexity of n to log n, so recursion does pay off.